So keep going. Well, I tried different foods or different restaurants or any of those things because you would eat. You could eat a, a well-balanced something every day and stay alive. But it's the fact of one flavor. It's the fact that there's other foods out here to eat that you could want to try them. Because you don't know what you like until you like it. Or at least until you try it and like it. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I get it. I don't think but that I, explains I can't, the way Jim I don't going. know about living your life according to that. Which but, is what most people are doing. Right. Now, I mean, that, they have Gucci symbols I, I, tatted on them. Yeah, I, I get all that. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. But it's the old, <laughs> it's the old dude you see on the ratchet black hashtag who has the full suit, and it's just Versace logos. The whole print is just Versace logos Everywhere. all the way down the suit. Billboard. When you realize that the real Versace and fancy wears don't show logos, no, nah, you wouldn't even know what it is. Why does? the Italian corporation or the big corporation know that in the stores in the urban community, why do these clothes have logos? Because they know that to the black community, it's about the logo. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's it's why true. That's why you go in the hood. Back in the day, niggas had the big ass Tommy Hilfiger joint right yeah. here. But if you look at the Tommy Hilfiger collection, it's just this little thing that's over at the bottom of the shirt. Because it ain't about the logo unless you check up on it. And you want to be seen or want or you want to be seen. So you put the biggest billboard you can because that's what advertisers do. I have all the money in an area with no tax base. It makes right. no freaking sense. I remember driving through Richmond and Virginia and driving by the projects and a Range Rover outside the project. Why? Painted. Rammed. All that, yeah. Why the fuck? Multiple. You, multiple. Why do you have an $80,000 SUV and you don't have... <laughs> or, 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 or you got the old 500 sitting out there and your airbags done dropped in the, in the back. And now you're low riding the back. One of them Lincoln Continentals. Your, you. your whole truck bucking. I mean, your, your vehicle sitting there in, park, in the park spot lit, raised up like you're popping the wheelie, like you got hydraulics. Because you couldn't go to the junk and pay $64 a bag. This is what I'm saying, bro. Like, this is, this is the thing that kills me about it. You have a symbol of opulence in a place which is a symbol of poverty. Right. And you don't know no better because as far as you go, doing well is just a vehicle when it is a depreciating liability. That shows you that, that is, for, for lack of a better word, that's flat out ignorance. There's no other way to call that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's ignorance. Why, and then be in court like, how they know it was me? How they know I was a dope dealer in the neighborhood? Yeah. Everybody else driving Kia Sportages, and you out here in the motherfucking. I just didn't. I just don't get that portion of it, bro. And I feel like it's it's one of them things where we have to start holding accountability to this shit. Like, dude, I'm. I put it this way: we are not gonna be cool to a certain level if I see that jigabooing. I'm not gonna say you're a bad person. I'm not gonna say you any of that. But that energy is is not is not good for the direction that I'm trying to go. It's right. counterproductive because yeah. that shows me you don't understand you don't understand money, life, nothing. Nope. It's all about what it looks like. Hey, man, I'm doing good. Yeah, and like all of that stuff was like a light bulb since getting into this industry. Getting to a point where you know just the overall tax bracket, uh, credit, like all these things that I never gave two shits about for real, because I wanted what I could have on me, or in my person, or at my reach. They weren't about having uh, some four hundred one k or money that I got to go through channels to get. I wanted to have access to mine right then and there, just like you said, so I can show it if I needed to or do whatever I felt like I wanted to do. And But that's as far as my thought went. I didn't think 10, 20 years down the road. No, because you're not taught to. Okay, why would people... I didn't even dream that much. Ron, I didn't even think I'd be alive. That's what I was just about to say. Why would, uh, 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 why would a black male whose life expectancy is between 17 and 25, be
be thinking about the compound interest and Whole dividends. Life insurance. The compound interest and dividends to an account he can't touch till 62 if he don't believe he's going to make it there. Right. Or, if I don't make it there, I got a sister or brothers or family members that I don't want them to have my stuff anyway. Because I know they ain't going to do them mess it up. So I'm going to flash it now. Yeah. Until you don't die. And you're like, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I may mess around, get sick, and have to live. Jesus said that in the verse one time, and it was probably one of the best lines he ever had. It's something about um I can't think of it, it ain't gonna come to me right now, but paraphrasing. Like you can't take it with you. You can't take the money with you. But then like you just said, now you still here with the money gone. Mm. Like you can't take it with you. That's half right and half wrong. Like, you know what I mean? The problem is you still here with the money gone. But the money gone. And your health gone with it. Yeah. Now so, so you're you gonna find you so gonna, I get it, yes. You gonna you find a new grind once. at seventy? You only live once, all that kind of stuff. You can't you don't know if you're gonna be alive tomorrow. Like that's that's true. Live today to to the fullest. Yes. Cause you don't know if you're gonna be here tomorrow. But the problem is what happened when you, you hit him up? And now you, what? And you broke. Because you weren't expecting to wake up, but you did. So now what are you going to do? Yeah. Especially everybody, I don't eat pork. I'm vegan this. You living to 93 years old. And your money ran out at 50. So you going to do 40 years broke? Like I don't do pork either, bro. But I get you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I definitely eat bacon. It is what it is. But what I'm saying is... It, why are you do what 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 sense does it make? And then what are you telling your kid if you are the example to your child and everything you do is flash? What's your child gonna do? Right. So now your child wanna be baby beings at 18. I posted that before too. Like, you know, we'll tell our children to exceed and excel and, and go all out and you know, give it your best shot. But you gave up 20 years ago. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't out here doing, you ain't out here spending your 24 hours striving for excellence every day. You'll teach your children that, or you'll say that because I guess it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to say. But you don't really live according to that. No. Because y'all would be in a better situation if if you wasn't living even selfish, selfish or even a little bit, you would have or be in a better position. So it's just, you know, we I guess we've been trained to do it. I guess you can't deny the fact that we 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 learned under a system that wasn't made for us to We learned of a pack of, we learned under a premise that was a lie. It was a lie. It, it, there's no other way to put it. It was lied to the people who taught us and it was lied to the people who taught them. It was lied to the people that taught them. Yeah. There's a reason you go over your grandmama house and there's too much damn furniture in there. And she acting like this furniture was the shit at Haynes in 1960. But God damn it, it's 1997. So now this old ass furniture that scared the grandkids is all over the place and plastic and it's over decorated. Oh. Why are you trying to polish this project turd into, oh, you're in the Taj Mahal just in case I get company when you don't like nobody in your house? It's stupid. Now you I got agree. twenty two thousand dollars worth of furniture. Right, literally, right now I'm picturing <laughs> quite a few residences <laughs> in my head right now in the jacks or just armchairs with gold gold legs, bro. Or, or that old that bro. old Renaissance furniture where everything was black and gold with mirrors. Oh my god! <laughs> I can see. I mean, oh man, I'd never put nobody out there, but bro, I see it right now. And but you as a kid, you're not thinking that. You think, oh, this old people furniture. She thinking my house is together. Like, man, throw this stuff. Like we literally had to do that. Not to even, I guess, put nothing blast or whatever. But we had to do that for my for my mother in law. Like she almost to a point where almost refused to get rid of things that she's had for quite some time. Like we literally had to get new things and just. Get rid of the old stuff and bring in the new stuff, and you're just gonna be mad. Yeah, because you're throwing away right her stuff. status. Right. Because when she bought it at the time, the lie she believed, 
Oh, you got to go in there and have Hanes furniture. She, she was taught, that's status. And then you come in trying to throw away her status. That's deep as fuck. But, and she don't see that we're replacing it with But that better. stuff has no status to her. Right. Now you come in here bringing this deco modern shit that ain't got no mirrors on it. It don't have a, it don't have the Victorian swirling gold leg. Well, that's your whack. The plastic package for this. <laughs> yeah, what what a plastic kit for this? Oh, you don't put plastic on it. What? It's made out of rayon. I don't want that bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It makes no. They were lied to. They were freaking lied to, dog. And, and and that's the sad thing. That's why I tell you the biggest coons is our grandparents. Shit. They them motherfuckers still permanent hair, permanent baby's hair at four, five, six years old. Shit Putting lie in the air and shit like that, huh? And that shit thin as hell. Thin as a motherfucker. Thyroids. Mm -hmm. They bald head as hell. Now they putting on a plastic motherfucking wig. They get break them out on the back. It's stupid. I can't bro. remember all that stuff. Like I'm literally, you got me. I, I'm thinking about. I can remember being a little kid, and then getting into my teenage years, and like my uncles, aunts. All was still still living in the jacks with my grandma. Like we talking two or three generations for the same project building or same, you know, apartment. And everybody has lived or lives there. I don't understand. It's a cycle. I don't understand. It's like I don't, I just don't I don't get it. And they don't have to be there. They could have went to the military. Like they could have went anywhere. My wife has family that I didn't know you could pass down a project, bro. Like yeah. it's a crib. Like grandma used to stay there. Grandma died. How did how did niece get the joint? Like how do you pass down or keep a project building in the family? Because the powers that be put the projects there for pacification. So if right. you want to pass it down and pacify the next generation, which will not be in the running, not gonna stand in your way. Get, get the boo-boo in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give it, and if they mess up, we'll just put them in prison. Yeah. And now these women are there holding on to these spots that's dope on the inside, on, on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's dope on the inside, and they just popping out kids to go into the system. But don't know dude's supposed to live there though. Because if a guy lives there, they'll get put out. So Bingo. This, this whole family thing, we're not gonna do that. So it is a We'll take care of you, Sean. Yeah. It's a single, oh, it's a single oh, mother, it's a single right. mother factory. That's why I do say something before. How can black women be mad at men about their neighborhood when men cannot occupy the hood legally? These are women's apartments. Like Pac said, you walk through, walk past four or five houses, ain't a man in none of them. Ain't a man them. there. That's why when dudes want to tend a dick up and down the road with pussy, they go to the hood. Cause that's where all the biddies is at, and all the biddies that make the wrong decision. But you know what it hurt when I realized that the reason why I was in the projects is because my grandma was a whore. Mm. Now my grandfather was married, lived in the house on Tide Water Drive. That's where everybody had a Chrysler, Chrysler New Yorker. This yeah. was before the 300. My dad had a Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. used to talk. <laughs> he had a maroon door joint. Is a jar. Door is a jar. He yeah. had a maroon I joint, but it had the soft top, but it was only the back end of the roof. Yeah. That, that's throwback. The quarter. quarter. Yeah, the, the quarter, quarter, quarter joint. Yeah, yeah. That's if you were sporty. Yeah. He, he had two of them joints, a blue, one and a, a blue one and a red one. And it didn't have leather. It had velour. That was hot back in the day. Mm -hmm. So he had a wife live on Tidewater Drive, suburban. Why are we in the project? Come to find out, it's because my grandma was the side chick. Right. So my mom, my grandma's generation in the projects, my mother's generation, her brothers in the projects, and then me and my brothers are in the projects. That's because we're illegitimate from the grandma. We're in the projects because we're illegitimate. Yes. Our last name don't even match my, my granddad's last name Poole. My last name Brown. You know I mean? So it's like, you were illegitimate 50 years ago. Yes. 50? And then when you finally meet them all, brother, my Uncle Thomas and all my, my, my mother's legitimate, all of them got housing in Korea. 
all of us sitting out of prison, out of jail, nobody drugs, all this other shit. What the fuck? Then you, this this a fuck your be mo. I don't care if my family mad. I put them out there. Fuck them. He was fucking my grandma when she was 16. Well, they did that back in the day. Okay, they did. My granddad was 60. You heard me? My granddad died at 100. He was fucking my grandma, 15, 16 year old, when he was 60. Oh, shit. Now, this, this gonna fuck you up even worse. You pop the kids out, you know they there. You leave this 15, 16 year old to raise the kid by herself. And she eight miles up the road. Well, my, my grandma's an alcoholic. She was just busting the dough, lay on the, sit on the couch, pee all over herself. Then leave again for two weeks with the kids there by herself. Finally, kids go into the system where my mother was uh, raped and abused at in the system. My hope gets tired of it. She knocks on the door at, at where her father's house is. That's the first time his family ever seen her at nine motherfucking years old during the funeral of his wife. And that's why I told my brother, that's where the Ill 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 illegitimacy come from. We not here because white people put us here. Our bloodline is over in the suburbs. We here because we are the whore line. Mm. We are the illegitimate bastard line of niggas. That's why we're here, bro. And no one's coming to, to help us. Is this I fucking mo? My father's last, my biological father's last name is Austin. Oh, my last name is Brown. It should be Austin. My father's last name is Austin, should be Brooks. My son's last name is Johnson, should be Brown. Wow. I come from a nasty, freaky, deep, pimp, whore background, dog. My granddaddy motherfucking pimp, my father off the chain, you know that. And my mama off the chain through the molestation. So what hope did I have to be able to build a legitimate line from an illegitimate foundation? Then they're like, oh, you meet a chicken. They're like, well, he don't know how to sustain a relationship. Till they look at your lineage. They're like, well, oh, y'all niggas fucked up. Yeah. Ridic, there's no house on this earth with my picture up in it. That's the shit that fucking hit. There, there is no house on the planet Damn, bro. with a picture up of me. Do you also know that I don't know what I look like as a kid? There's no picture of me as a baby, ever. I don't know what I look like as a baby. Because illegitimate motherfuckers moving from place to place to place to place, they lose pictures, they just gone. And none of the people who were established never thought to put a picture of them. 